after controlling their own destiny going into week 17, the Washington Commanders were eliminated from playoff contention by the Cleveland Browns after losing in that game in a disappointing fashion. And what everyone's talking about is the decision to bench Taylor Heineke, who, by the way, past few weeks has not been playing his best ball. We can all admit that. But had this team that started 2-4 and four under Carson Wentz, who was underwhelming, had this team at 5-3-1. and one. That was his record as the starting quarterback, 5-3-1. and one. And whether you, or not you agree with my take that they should have stuck it out with Heineke because at the end of the day, the team was winning when he was a starting quarterback and they went back to disappointing losing and turnovers, which is exactly what Carson Wentz is known for in big situations. At the end of the day, this comes down to Ron Rivera. And it's something that I think a lot of people were dancing around because Ron Rivera is a very nice guy. Ron Rivera is one of the most respected head coaches in football. I respect Ron Rivera, the person, so much. But there is no way after what happened last week, you can justify him being the head coach of the Washington Commanders next year. And if you don't believe me, Take a listen to this comment after the game. To clarify, you said you would talk about quarterback next week. If you guys are eliminated today by what happens at 4 o'clock, is Sam Howell in consideration? We can be eliminated. Yeah, if the Packers beat the Vikings, oh, then sorry. you guys are eliminated. There you heard it. Ron Rivera, head coach of the Washington Commanders, didn't know that the team could be eliminated if the Packers won, which they did. They they thumped the Minnesota Vikings just after the Washington Commanders got thumped by the Cleveland Browns and ended Washington. So Washington is one of two teams since the merger, by the way, to control their own destiny going into the penultimate game of the year and then be eliminated the same week. First team or second team in NFL history to do that, basically. It is, it, to call this anything but a disappointment is as absolutely ludicrous and underselling what this is. Ron Rivera was brought in to revitalize this franchise. Ron Rivera was brought in to help restore honor to the, the franchise and the, and the players who play for that team. The past few years, past three years, all of his years as head coach of the Commanders, Man has compiled a 21-27-1 record, has won seven games every year, and has finished under 500 every year. They had the playoff appearance in, in, his, in his first year as head coach when they went 7-9 and nine and lost to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Taylor Heineke, who had them in that game. And I know that not a lot of Washington Commanders fans agree with me, but it is what it is. They were eliminated... And now I think it's time to move on from Ron Rivera. I really do. Because at the end of the day, as a head coach, one thing that you are responsible for is, is being situationally aware, right? You're supposed to be situa situationally aware of everything. And, and that's why you are the key decision maker on the field and going into games. When you get to the point where you're not situationally aware, to the degree of you didn't know that this is a must-win game. Like, not even a, hey, if we don't get it, uh, we'll get him next time. We still got a chance. No, you are out, basically, if you lose this game. It's a damning indictment on him. It's a damning indictment on this franchise. And, and, and look, he... I'm not saying this, right? Ron Rivera has done some good things to change the culture, which is not damn good before he got there. But I don't think he's the guy to finish the job. I, that, that's just my belief at this time. I think he's going, there's going to be a market for him, obviously. He's a, he's a very good head, head coach. He's accomplished as all hell. Made the playoffs countless amount of times. Made a Super Bowl. Led a 15-1 team. So, so there will be a market for Ron Rivera. I just don't think that you can justify keeping him around in, in not DC um, when, when he's just underwhelming. His teams are just underwhelming because we know these teams have the talent. Terry McLaurin, 
You got uh, studs on defense like Chase Young, Montez Sweat, and company. You just haven't been able to solidify that quarterback spot. And when you do have a quarterback who's winning, you decide to bench him for the guy who was losing. And by the way, Carson Wentz is 2-5 and five as a starting quarterback for the Washington Commanders this year. Taylor Heineke is not 2-5. and five. He's 5-3-1. Five, and one. So, that's just the facts. Y'all can be mad. Let me know, though, in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released.